episode, we're exploring two national parks in Florida. First, we camp at Big Cypress National Preserve, visit Everglades City, see lots of gators in the Everglades National Park. Then we take a boat tour to Biscayne National Park, and finally visit Flamingo in the southern portion of the Everglades. Between moving my footage from my camera to my laptop, I ended up losing four days worth of video. Thankfully, you didn't miss too much. I do have some videos on my phone of me arriving at the campground in the Everglades and getting a nice parking spot next to the lake, which did have a little gator in it. No biggie. There were a lot of big birds all around, and Cosmo liked to watch the little ones flutter through the window. I stood at this campground to get a lot of editing done, and then I left and went to Everglades City. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we left the campsite, and I drove about 10 minutes to the Everglades City. I'm right now parked in front of the Everglades Museum. Today, I don't quite have a plan for the day yet. I just know that I wanna check out Everglades City, which, well, I don't know about it because I haven't been to the museum yet. Not sure where I'm staying tonight. Might be like on the side of a road or I might go down to a Cracker Barrel in Florida City. No, not yet. But you know what? I don't have to know yet because living the free life guys. Also, it's finally t-shirt and shorts weather. I'm so happy to be wearing shorts again. I can't tell you how happy I am. A lot of information I didn't know about the Tamiami Trail, that it actually goes from Miami all the way up to Tampa. Uh, that's pretty cool because I've been driving on the Tamiami Trail for a little while. It's like the main road through the Everglades. Cool, I learned a little bit about something today. Now I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna leave Everglades City, go out, find a little hike, see if I can find some more gators today. So right now we are at Kirby's Daughter Park which has like a little boardwalk to go on, uh, walking over the swamp. I'm gonna make some lunch real quick, just a bagel with some cream cheese. And then I'm gonna go for a walk. It's like uh, less than a mile, I think. And the back is pretty well insulated and uh, the fan is pulling through the air from outside. So we're staying nice and cool in here. So don't worry about Cosmo, he's good. are tons of spider webs and I'm just like just looking at them is making me like feel like I have them all over me but there were other people on this boardwalk earlier and I pulled in today so I know that they probably already walked through them but I'm sure that the spiders here are just well, well I reached the end of the boardwalk here it's quite swampy yeah stop making up excuses when I simply don't care As you can hear, it's very bumpy. It's a dirt road, which I wasn't expecting because all the other roads are paved, even though we're in the middle of nowhere. Apparently this is like a super great scenic drive. So far it's just dirt road and bushes. I'm assuming it's gonna be worth it. I don't know. It's it's just much slower. It's kind of a long road. I wonder if I'm gonna regret it. I love this sign. It says you can turn around now. 
is the last chance. <laughs> Don't you think that you're gonna regret it? That sign made me laugh so hard. It's your last chance. If you wanna turn around, you've gotta do it now. Like, what am I getting myself into? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that tickled me so much, but it really did. Let's see where this takes us. So as I was driving, I saw from the side of my eye an alligator. He's right there. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh shit, there's another one. Do you see it? Do you see its tail right there? I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit fearful right now just because he's looking at me. It's very cool. I feel very privileged to be witnessing this. I'm also wondering how fast I can run against a gator, thinking not fast enough. So let's go back in the van, slowly. Slowly. Guys, this is very cool. Honestly, it's like I'm in a zoo, but I'm not. These are wild animals, and they're just chilling. I mean, they're so big, and they're just like, I guess, I guess they're like majestic. I don't, I, I think I'm falling in love with alligators, guys. I don't know what it is, but I'm really excited about them. Everything fell down. Anyway, we're both pretty tired. We had quite a quite a day, um, so we're gonna clean up <laughs> this mess and then figure out what's going on for dinner. Right now, we are on the way to Biscayne National Park. The, the whole park region is 95% water. It includes a couple of keys, but it's mostly just the water. I'm going on a heritage cruise. I don't know. It's gonna be three hours, they're gonna tell me a bunch of stuff, and we're gonna go ride around on the water on a boat. I'm talking to you while driving right now, even though I know it's unsafe, because I'm running late. I didn't want to get there and not have time to uh, talk to you guys. I bought a new SD card for my GoPro because I haven't used it uh, in three years, and I don't know where my SD card is, and I'm charging it up right now, and it should be be some good video, I think. Oh, there's some chickens just on the side of the road. Where am I? I was supposed to be attending a virtual baby shower this morning, so that's kind of why I'm running late because my schedule has been a flux. So anyway, happy belated baby shower, Eva and Sarah and John, because I missed your real one. All right. That's what's going on. It's gonna be a fun, great, lo lovely day, and we'll catch up in a bit. Jeez, I barely remember how to use this thing. Uh, <laughs> I hope this footage isn't terrible today, but we'll do our best. I'm not bringing my big camera, my DSLR. So it's just gonna be GoPro today. I am bringing my phone, but probably gonna not want to bring that out as much because, you know, water. 
I checked in, it was $80 and change, and I'm getting on that boat in 11 minutes. I feel very like, I ended up being able to FaceTime with uh, my best friend who's having the baby shower um, for about 10 minutes. They were measuring her belly with ribbons and seeing who can guess the right size of her belly with the ribbon. It's cute. Um, there's things like that that you kind of wish you could be in person there for. I also feel like it's okay that I missed it. Like, like the, the purpose of attending one of those events is so that they know that you love and appreciate them, right? I feel like that's the biggest reason. So the fact that I was able to schedule my day around the virtual party or whatever, um, just being able to show my face, I feel like did that. And then also we're best friends. She knows that I care. So maybe that's even set out. I don't know. laid out trying to dry them they're still wet so I'm gonna have to put my clothes back on which is the best feeling in the world I feel really lucky though to be able to just spend 40 minutes sitting here on a beautiful beach to what we can do oh we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life Crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh. Alright, so yesterday was good. After I got back to the van from the cruise, Cosmo and I just settled in. I had some leftover salad for dinner from Cracker Barrel the night before and some apples and peanut butter and then we went to sleep early so now we're back in the everglades i know you're like again more i know yes again yes more we're in the southern portion of the everglades so the southern route uh, brings you down to a town called flamingo and it's like an hour drive from the entrance to the park down through the everglades there and along the way there are little hiking trails so right now we are at the peyote 
Pechoki Overlook. I don't know what is overlooking, so we're gonna find that out. Well, that was cute. If I didn't spend all day two days ago seeing a whole bunch of stuff in the Cypress National Preserve, then I probably would be more interested. But I've already looked at a lot of swamps and a lot of trees and a lot of birds and a lot of spider webs. So we're just gonna keep on going uh, through the beach at the end of this very long drive. So I'm hoping that's gonna be where I can hang out for the afternoon. We are at Flamingo. We are parked and I'm making lunch. I'm making some avocado toast with some cheese and crackers, appetizers, and it's delicious. So excited to eat it. Cosmo, do you like Everglades National Park? I'll take that as a yes. That looks like a yes. Mm, you got scratches. Okay, you left a little fuzz in your face. much beach as it is coast and tomorrow I'm going to Key West so I'm gonna be like in that direction but like far far away so it looks like they used to have uh, a visitor center here but it's under construction I'm assuming they're renovating it because of the like 15 hurricanes that came by this summer sure it'll be nice when it's finished but right now all they have open is the marina store where I'm not going to because I don't usually frequent places called stores because I don't usually spend things called money hashtag budget traveler that's probably you if you're watching this channel unless you're like let's just see how those poor folks travel or you're someone who knows me and you just want to see me make a fool of myself day in day out Either or, thanks for watching, like, subscribe. My final take on the bottom half of the Everglades National Park is eh. if you want to see some wildlife I say go to the take the Tamiami Trail take Route 41 go camping around there if you want to learn about the Gladesmen go to Everglades City I considered not showing you guys this out of one embarrassment and two I don't want my mom to yell at me but I think it goes to show that this is a nice area and that I left my keys on my door. They're right here. I can't believe I just left my keys. I was like, where are my keys? And then I look up and I'm like, they're already in the door. The good news is nobody came in and took Cosmo or any of my other valuables.